Would everyone please rise and welcome the graduating class of 2018.
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Would you please join Laurie Taylor in the singing of our national anthem, and would you also please remain standing during the delivery of the traditional friendship song sung by Dustin Brandt. The friendship song symbolizes our respect and our honor towards one another as we walk side by side through this beautiful journey of life. There we go. Please join me. Oh, Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love in all thy sons command. With glowing hearts we see thee rise the true nor strong and free from far and wide o canada we stand on guard for thee god keep our land glory on guard for thee. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. We are Gentlemen, please be seated. <laughs> Welcome to the Loyalist College of Applied Arts and Technology 2018 Convocation. My name is Anne Drennan, and as Senior Vice President Academic and Chief Learning Officer, it is my pleasure to be your Master of Ceremonies for this afternoon's proceedings. This afternoon, we are recognizing graduates of the School of Media, Business Access and Continuing Education, the School of Applied Sciences, Skills and Technology, and the School of Health, Human and Justice Studies. It is now my pleasure to introduce Bob Forder, Chair of the Board of Governors, who will officially open convocation. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. As we open today's proceedings, I'd like to recognize that we are holding this ceremony on the traditional territories of the Mohawks of the Bay of Quinte, recognized as the community of the Tyandonega, Mohawk Territory. 
and that opening that we had from Dustin was just so appropriate, and we thank you so much, Dustin. I now declare the 51st Convocation of Loyalist College officially opened. On behalf of the Board of Governors, it is my privilege to welcome all of you to this day of celebration and extend a special welcome to our distinguished guest of honor, Ian Howcroft, and to you, our graduates. The Loyalist College Class of 2018, the 51st graduating class of this college. As Loyalist College governors, we are committed to our service to the students and the college community. This is an important day for all of us, and we are delighted to share this celebration with you. Convocation is an occasion when the entire community, family, friends, and supporters come together to honor you, our graduates. A number of years ago, I was sitting in your place with my classmates. In fact, I graduated more than once, uh, not because I didn't get it right the first time, but I did go through and, and sit with the special trades, the skilled trades, as an automotive mechanic, and then came back and uh, worked on my career. And I know as a graduate of the Loyalist College that I know what's required to complete a post-secondary education. And I congratulate each of you for your perseverance in doing so. Today, looking back, I understand the value of my education here in a very different way. I know that my Loyalist education gave me a great start and has helped me succeed as I've moved ahead in my career. I also understand the importance of this college to our communities, our province, to you, your families, to employers, to the businesses and industry, and to the social and economic health of our area. Thank you for choosing Loyalist College, and congratulations to each and every one of you, the class of 2018. We wish you every success in the future. Congratulations to you, the class of 2018. Thank you, Chair Forder. Before we start, uh, I have an announcement. Could uh, Sean Elliott please report to the security desk? I think it's in connection with the vehicle. If you could do that. So it's Sean Elliott, please go to the security desk. Thank you. I would now like to call upon President Vaughan, who will address the graduates and introduce our speaker for the day, President Vaughan. Chair Forder. Mr. Howcroft, members of the board, distinguished guests, loyalist colleagues, graduating class of 2018, family and friends, good afternoon and welcome. Welcome to the 51st Convocation of Loyalist College. As we celebrated our 50th anniversary in 2017, we look forward to the next 50 years, and there is no better time to do that than a convocation where we see the accomplishments in our graduates and their fearlessness as they take on the world. I am so fortunate to be serving Loyalist College as its president, a truly remarkable place where I see every day more and more evidence of how this institution is deeply rooted in the community and the focus on student success is second to none. Loyalist is truly a destination college. Our location is positioned between the major economies of Toronto, Ottawa, and Montreal. Our natural environment, which includes a 200-plus acre campus in rural urban eastern Ontario, where the surroundings are strategically linked to the growing economy. Our dedicated and experienced faculty and staff ensure our focus on student success demonstrated through our key performance indicators are evidence of the remarkable impact of student-faculty interaction at Loyalist College. Our community collaboration is evidenced by regional cooperation and healthy relationships. These all combine to represent our vision that embraces our size as an asset and that sees the community that emerges as a marketable asset to our students and employees. Our deep connection to our community means that our graduates contribute to our communities each and every day. 
They deliver the services we need in health and policing, human studies, engineering technologies, media arts, skilled trades, and applied sciences. They are our entrepreneurs, they are our community leaders, and they are dedicated to service. They keep our economy and our society moving. They reach for the stars, and they impact virtually every service we interact with every day. Graduates, this is your day, and we want to congratulate you and thank you for choosing Loyalist for this part of your journey. As a well-known writer, Dr. Seuss said, you're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. But please get your diploma first as you're leaving the audience. It's been such a privilege to meet many, meet many of you over the time, of the time you've been here, and I want to thank you for your commitment to this college. You're an important part of its history. Your legacy is in your involvement in college activities, student government, athletics, residents, or initiatives with organizations in our communities. We are so very proud of you, and we want to thank you on behalf of the students who will follow you for the amazing contributions you made to Loyalist College during your time here. I know this has been a challenging year, and so I applaud you for your perseverance and commitment that has allowed you to get to this day. I have come to recognize that this is a very special place. Regardless of program or interest, our program teams, faculty and staff, work to help each individual succeed. Our students are our focus, and we are very proud of you and your success. Faculty and staff, I know that this was a challenging year for you as well, and I want to thank you and the entire Loyalist College community for the focus that you have given to student success. Graduates, during the past 50 years, over 41,000 individuals have graduated from this college. You are joining an accomplished group of individuals today. You are ready to take on the world, and we cannot wait to see what you do next. Take pride in what you have accomplished, and have faith that you've established a path that will take you where you want to go. And know, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that we are proud of you, and we will continue to celebrate and support you in the years to come. As graduates, I know you will take that pride and strength with you and take your learning with you. But please keep in touch. Members of the Quinty Alumni Chapter are here to welcome you and to our alumni family as you leave the stage. And so, enjoy this day with your family and friends. And thank you for choosing Loyalist. Remember, as former mayor of New York City and later Congressman Edward Koch said, the fireworks begin today. Each diploma is a lighted match. Each one of you is a fuse. As you light that fuse, my best advice to you is don't always take that linear path. Don't be afraid of the curves in the road, because it's the curves along the way that truly can make life interesting. Be proud of your achievement and go build the future you've been dreaming of. You've earned it. My very best wishes and congratulations, Loyalist Graduation Class of 2018. It is now my distinct privilege to introduce our guest speaker for this afternoon. Ian Howcroft was named CEO of Skills Ontario Skills Canada Ontario in January 2018. He served on the Skills Ontario Board of Directors for 16 years, from 1999 to 2015, including a two-year term as board president. Prior to accepting the CEO position at Skills Canada Ontario, Mr. Howcroft worked at Canadian manufacturers and exporters in various roles, starting in 1988 as their employee relations policy advisor and most recently, heading their Provincial Operations and Corporate Council as Senior Vice President. Mr. Halcroft was responsible for securing Canadian manufacturers and exporters' most successful business development program 
to assist manufacturers implementing advanced technologies to increase productivity and grow their business. Mr. Howcroft has a strong background and interest in advocacy, government relations, public policy, legal regulatory issues, administrative law, and human resources. These interests support his contributions as a valued member of boards and steering committees that he serves, which focus on apprenticeship, skill development, health and safety, and labor market information. Mr. Howcroft studied at McMaster University, earning a Bachelor of Arts degree honors, and at the University of Western Ontario, earning a law degree. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming our guest speaker for this afternoon, a distinguished Canadian, Ian Howcroft. Wow, this is incredible. Uh, thank you uh, very much uh, for the introduction, President Vaughan. Uh, very pleased to be here, uh, Bob Forder, Board of Governors uh, Chair. Uh, this is going to be the first time, I think, in, in my history where the introduction is going to be longer than my comments, but uh, thank you. Thank you very much. I should work on shortening that a little bit. Good afternoon, faculty, family, and friends of the great class of 2018. I'm thrilled to be standing here today not only because Loyalist College is one of Ontario's greatest post-secondary institutions with terrific courses and programs, including skilled trades and apprenticeships, I'm also thrilled to be standing here because it means I did not trip on the stairs walking over here. These grounds can be tricky things, and I did not stab myself with one of the pins very elegantly holding my hood on. I survived. Graduates, you've also survived it all, and you're here today. You've made it. You've accomplished it, and you've earned it. I'm sure in the past week you've been spending time reliving memories and uh, retelling stories with classmates. I know there will be more of that later today with your, with your colleagues here. However, while this is a special day for you, the graduates, I'd also like to say something about another group here today. They are sitting out there beaming proudly, not thinking necessarily how much it may have cost to get you here, or when you'll land your first job in your chosen career, or been finally able to move out, or at least to move on. Today they are fully enjoying and participating in your success and achievements. I'm talking about your parents, your relatives, and your friends. So let's recognize them and thank them for their support and their assistance. It's their day too. <laughs> now I'm truly honored to be your speaker on this, the 33rd anniversary of my own graduation. I remember that day clearly and how important it was to me and how important it still is to me. It's one of those momentous milestones in our lives that we will always remember. As was mentioned, I'm with Skills Ontario and thus a big believer in Ontario's college system. It's one of the best in the world. In fact, I think it is the best in the world. Skills Ontario is a not-for-profit that's building Ontario's skilled trades and technologies workforce. I've been passionate about uh, the, addressing the skills issues and developing solutions for a long time. In fact, I've worked on the skills issues for almost 30 years in one form or another. Skills Ontario is my most recent opportunity for me to develop solutions and, and offer assistance, and I'm very pleased uh, to be there. The organization enables and empowers all youth, including women, First Nations, Métis, to consider a career in the skilled trades and technologies. I think some of the graduates here may be familiar with the Skills Ontario competition, the largest skills competition in the country that happened early last month. I'd like to recognize the Manufacturing Engineering Technicians Program here at Loyalist for producing two medalists, a gold medal in computer-aided manufacturing and a silver medal in uh, computer-assisted design. Congratulations for that great success. We work closely with all Ontario colleges and I want to mention particularly the support, contribution, and assistance we have received and continue to receive from Loyalist College. I'm also pleased to note that both of my kids are college graduates. We encourage them to pursue an education that they were passionate about and something that they wanted to do and leverage as a path to their future career and their future life. I always encourage them to do as well as they could and they both chose to attend college. When they were younger, they used to ask me, how well did you do in school, Dad? And I always wanted to be honest, so I had to carefully think about that answer. After careful consideration, I cautiously replied that I helped to make the top half of the class possible. 
<laughs> well, that, that answer lasted for a little while, and they did figure it out in not too, uh, not too short of time, and they were definitely in the top half of their class. But you and they have now finished college, but you haven't finished learning. That process will go on for the rest of your lives, and that's a good thing. The world is dynamic, and things change quickly, and the speed of change will only increase. In addition to learning about the substantive contact, content in your chosen programs, you've also learned other very important lessons. Particularly, you've learned how to learn, and this will stand you well in a world that, as I said, is changing quickly. Keep on learning, both formally and informally. There are a lot of opportunities that can assist in the furtherance of one's educational uh, and ongoing pursuit of knowledge capacity. I've heard from a lot of employers over the years who said that their top challenge was identifying and recruiting talent. Through your courses, you have learned about the topic of your studies, uh, but you have also learned communication skills, teamwork skills, analytical skills. Make sure that every prospective employer knows all that you have to offer. I have some advice for you that I wish I'd been given when I was just finishing school. Actually, I think I was given that advice, I just wish I'd listened to it and acted on it sooner than I did. At one level, the advice is quite simple and obvious. Work to develop a personal network and relationships that can help build your career, that can help build your life, and allow you to make a contribution to society. Don't hesitate to call upon your networks for insight, for advice, as you navigate and develop your career and other aspects of your life. Many may think that you do this, but I suggest you do this as part of a plan and exercise it with some discipline. Building your network will allow you to get a sense of many other opportunities and how others use their skills, perhaps differently than they had originally intended. It will also help you learn a new career and voluntary opportunities that you may not otherwise have thought of. One never knows where their education and career paths will take them. I took many turns in my education, starting with business, moving to social sciences and humanities, and finally law. Who know that after that, I would find myself in the area of public policy, promoting skilled trades and technology careers. Hopefully, you will find an individual that you connect with, who you can have as a mentor, learn from others, gain their insight, perspective, and learn from their experience. Mentors can be extremely invaluable in one's life. A mentor can be a formal relationship or informal, but finding one, or finding more than one, can be an extremely valuable asset. I encourage you to embrace this and take steps to work with one. To quote Denzel Washington, show me a successful individual and I'll show you someone had real positive influence in his or her life. I don't care what you do for a living, if you do it well, I'm sure there was someone cheering you on or showing you the way, a mentor. Reach out to people, talk to people, meet with people. Even if you don't think the other person has a job to offer you, just reaching out for their thoughts and their insights will go a long way to building and strengthening your network. Your network of friends, peers, coworkers, and mentors will get you through times of doubt, turbulence, and trepidation. They will help you raise up and celebrate your successes with you. Keep the friends, the classmates, and peers you've met during your time at Loyalist, keep them close, and see how you continue to grow together. Building your network is an effort that never ends, but it is well worth the effort you put into nurturing those relationships professionally and personally. I have several individuals in my life who I considered mentors, and they have been a great source of assistance and inspiration to me. They help me do better, and for that, I'm extremely thankful. You have many sources that you can look to and reach out to, from professors and others here at the college, to community leaders, family, friends, people you admire, and those you feel have achieved the kind of success that you perhaps may like to emulate. In fact, I suggest that over the weekend, you create a list of potential mentors or people you would like in your network. And then over the next few weeks, start to reach out to them. Start now, don't put it off, and contact five people over the next few weeks to start this process. Most people contacted will be flattered. They'll give you the benefit of their experience and their insight. If they don't, then they would not have been a good mentor and you're better off not having them and they just help you cull the list. Building your network never ends and neither does your education, skills development and training. But as you move on in your life, always remember those who have helped you. Return that kindness. Make an investment in society, make an investment in the future of others. Help them by acting as a mentor and give back to the community. One of my mentors once said, 
It's always good to end a talk with a quote from Winston Churchill, so I will follow that sage advice. We make a living by what we get. We make a life by what we give. Good words to live by. Congratulations to the class of 2018. Good luck, bon chance, and keep on learning. Thank you very much. Now, some great, uh, some great thoughts, Ian, and uh, a lot of lessons in there for us all. I'd like to thank Ian Halcroft for joining us on this special occasion and delivering such a memorable address to the graduating class of 2018. I'm pleased to announce that the Board of Governors, by virtue of the authority vested in it, has authorized me to award Ian Howcroft the highest tribute of Loyalist College, an honorary diploma in applied arts. This honorary diploma is presented to Ian Howcroft in recognition of his expertise, influence, and contributions as an advocate for careers in skilled trades and technologies. Ian's passion and commitment have and will enhance the lives of many young Ontarian. Loyalist College is privileged to have had Ian Howcroft address convocation in 2018 and accordingly pays him its highest academic tribute. Ian? Ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the formal part of our ceremony where the certificates, diplomas, advanced diplomas and awards will be presented by, uh, will be presented. President Vaughan, it is my privilege to report to you that the candidates here assembled have qualified in all respects for certificates, diplomas and advanced diplomas by successfully completing curricula offered by the School of Media, Business Access and Continuing Education, the School of Applied Sciences, Skills and Technology, and by the School of Health, Human and Justice Studies at Loyalist College. They have been recommended by the faculty to be awarded certificates or diplomas in recognition of their academic accomplishments. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors of Loyalist College, I do hereby confer on our graduates their respective Ontario College certificates, diplomas and advanced diplomas with all the honours, privileges and responsibilities pertaining thereto. President Vaughan, on behalf of the graduates not present, I request that you confer the certificates and diplomas in absentia. I so do. Ladies and gentlemen, Christine Eddy, Manager of Continuing Education, Chad Mundy, Academic Chair, School of Media Business Access and Continuing Education, and June MacDonald Jenkins, Dean, School of Health, Human and Justice Studies, will oversee the conferring of the diplomas. During the next part of the program, we will be presenting the graduates for, this, for the Access and Continuing Education, Skills and Technology, Building Sciences and Justice Studies programs, who will proceed across the stage to receive congratulations from a member of the Board of Governors and will receive their certificates or diplomas from President Vaughan. Ladies and gentlemen, Christine Eddy. Thank you, Vice President Drennan. President Vaughan, it's my pleasure to present the recipients of Loyalist College Certificates and Awards in Career and College Prep Program. Career and College Prep. Jacob Brown. <laughs> Renee Rudderham. <laughs> James Foster. Recipient of the Eileen McLaughlin Memorial Award for a graduate of the Career and College Prep Program who best exemplifies Eileen's ideals and spirit, honesty, work ethic, and concern for others. (laughs) 
Alia Marino. Jordan Thompson. Julia West. This concludes the conferring of certificates for the Access and Continuing Education programs. I would like to introduce Chad Monday, Academic Chair, School of Media, Business, Access, and Continuing Education, who will present the graduates for the Skills and Technology programs. Thank you, Christine. President Vaughn, it's my pleasure to present the recipients of Ontario College Certificates, Diploma and Advanced Diploma, and Graduate Certificates, and Loyalist College Certificates and Awards in Automotive Apprenticeship, Horticulture Technician Apprenticeship, Electrical Techniques, Mechanical Techniques, Motive Power Fundamentals, Residential Design and Drafting Techniques, Welding Techniques, Architectural Technician, Civil Engineering Technician, Construction and Renovation Technician, Electrical Engineering Technician, Industrial Manufacturing Engineering Technician, Motive Power Technician, Service and Management, Survey Engineering Technician, Welding and Fabrication Technician, Ar Architectural Technology, and Civil Engineering Technology. <laughs> now presenting Loyalist College Certificate in Automotive Apprenticeship. Jonah Bellis. Jose Herendez. Congratulations. Jamie Hill. Corey Horn. Congratulations. Mikel Laundry. Michael, thanks. Adrian Moore. Anthony Omelad. Joshua Pizarka. Nathan Phillips. Dylan Quinlan. Brent Robertson. Brandon Waddingham. Brendan Wood. Horticulture Technician Apprenticeship. Jody Wen. Ontario College Certificate in Carpentry and Renovation Techniques. Vaughn Pillard Dean's List. James Orbang.
for electrical techniques. Mitchell Brené, Dean's List. Brian Raymond. For mechanical techniques. Christopher Campbell, Dean's List. Cameron Dick. Eric Green, Dean's List. Raja Vashni, Devdadatsni and Raj, Dean's List. Quinton Free Walsh, Dean's List. For Motive Power Fundamentals. Timothy Leacock. Sarah Stolike, Dean's List. Also a member of the Weston Garfield Foundation Fellowship. Congratulations, Sarah. for residential drafting and design techniques. Joe Finn Joseph, Dean's List. Riddhi Jabbar Patel. For welding techniques, Melissa Cho, Dean's List. Craig Driscoll. Shailen Flagler. Vera Padikumar Ravel, Dean's List. <laughs> Justin Short, Dean's List. For Ontario College Diploma in Architectural Technician. Jeremy Burton, Dean's List. <laughs> Glenn Dayton, Dean's List. Glenn is also graduating the Ontario College Certificate in Mechanical Techniques. Carly Dunford, Dean's List. Christine Madogo. <laughs> Kibion Rowe, Dean's List. 
congratulations. <laughs> Emily Stevens. Wynn Stevenson, Dean's List. Brittany York. For Civil Engineering Technician. Alex Bruce. Andrew Galway, Dean's List. Andrew is also recipient of the Ontario Good Roads Association Award. Congratulations, Andrew. Prab Grewal, Dean's List. Paul Joes. <laughs> Stefan Kosmala. Adam Kozalenko. Cordell Maguire. Pratik Patel. Emil D. Bray, Dean's List. Randy Rowan, Dean's List. Harmanit Singh. Love Deep Singh, Dean's List. Nav Deep Singh, Dean's List. Joshua Stewart, Dean's List. For construction and renovation technician, Sarah Cole. What's his name? And Nolan. Cameron Gray, Dean's List. Also part of the Garfield Weston Foundation Fellowship. Congratulations. Dale Lowell. Noah Sauter, Dean's List. Cameron Suggett. Cameron's also graduating with an Ontario College Certificate in Construction Renovation Techniques. Congratulations, Cameron. For Electrical Engineering Technician Industrial, 
Austin Adams Dean's List. Amanda Rayage. Amanda is also graduating the Ontario College Certificate in Electrical Techniques. Congratulations. Gabriel Demaras. James Eggleton. Ryan Gallagher, Dean's List. That's one. Kevin Johnston. Kevin's also graduating the Ontario College Certificate in Electrical Techniques. Congrats, Kevin. Jennifer Kearley. Connor Lagoff, Dean's List. Connor is also part of the Garfield Weston Foundation Fellowship. Congrats, Connor. Sam Lowry. Sam is also graduating on the Dean's List with an Ontario Call Certificate in Electrical Techniques. Congratulations, Sam. Connor McAdams, Dean's List. <laughs> Luke McGuinness. Luke is also graduating the Ontario College Certificate in Electrical Techniques. Peter Mitchell. Peter is also graduating the Ontario College Certificate in Electrical Techniques. Carter Moore. Carter is a member of the Garfield Weston Foundation Fellowship. Nathan Morgan, Dean's List. <laughs> Jeremy Knopper, Dean's List. Jeremy is also a member of the Garfield Weston Foundation Fellowship. Congratulations. Harsh Patel, Dean's List. Arpit Kumar Patel, Dean's List. Also graduating Ontario College Certificate in Electrical Techniques. Congratulations. Mayer Kumar Patel, Dean's List. Harsh Kumar Patel, Dean's List. Ash Kumar has also graduated the Ontario College Certificate in Electrical Techniques. Congratulations. Jeffrey Sanders. Jeffrey is also graduating the Ontario College Certificate in Electrical Techniques. Dylan Smith, Dean's List. Dylan is also graduating the Ontario College Certificate in Electrical Techniques. Congratulations, Dylan. Robert Steenberg, Dean's List. Robert is also a Garfield Weston Foundation Fellow. Congrats. Christine Valencourt. Christine is also graduating the Ontario College Certificate in Electrical Techniques. For manufacturing engineering technician. Riley Avery. Riley is also a Garfield Weston Foundation Fellow. 
Congrats, Riley. Cole Barrett. David Boomauer, Dean's List. <laughs> Stephanie Constable Cooper, Dean's List. <laughs> Stephanie is also graduating with an Ontario College Certificate in Mechanical Techniques. Congratulations, Stephanie. Casey Diller. Mitchell Fedema. Mitchell is a Garfield Weston Foundation Fellow. Congrats, Mitchell. Maxwell Graham. That's Maxwell. Alicia Hoare, Dean's List. Alicia is also a Garfield Weston Foundation Fellow. Jason Holland, Dean's List. Jason is also graduated with an Ontario College Certificate in Mechanical Techniques. Congratulations, Jason. Mitchell Johnson. Gordon Kirkland. Kevin McDonald, Dean's List. Kevin's also the recipient of the Rob Casson Memorial Award and is a Garfield Weston Foundation Fellow. Jacob McInnes, Dean's List. <laughs> Donald Mayhew, Dean's List. Donald is also graduated with an Ontario College Certificate in Mechanical Techniques. Jordan McIntosh. Jordan is a Garfield Weston Foundation Fellow. Jamie McQuaid, Dean's List. Jamie is a member of the Garfield Weston Foundation Fellowship and is also graduating with an Ontario College Certificate in Mechanical Techniques. Congratulations, Jamie. Harsh Hoza. Harsh is graduating also with an Ontario College Certificate in Mechanical Techniques. Devang Pandya. Congratulations. Jamey Kumar Patel is also graduating with an Ontario College Certificate in Mechanical Techniques. Mitch Pierce. Sean Pringle, Dean's List. Sean is also graduating with an Ontario College Certificate in Mechanical Techniques. Congratulations, Sean. Darsha Shen Raj, who has also graduated with an Ontario College Certificate in Mechanical Techniques. Congratulations. Tyler Reynolds, Dean's List. Tyler is also a member of the Garfield Weston Foundation. Hello. Addison Rickman. Addison is also a member of the Garfield Weston Foundation Fellowship. Christopher Rowe, Dean's List. Woo! 
Rebecca Smith. Rebecca Sweet, Dean's List. Rebecca is also a member of the Garfield Weston Foundation Fellowship. Congratulations. Curtis Willman. Congratulations. Cole Zervos, Dean's List. Cole is also a Garfield Weston Foundation Fellow. For Motive Power Technicians, Service and Management, Christopher Cartwright. <laughs> Anthony Cox. <laughs> Mitchell Hardwick. Congratulations, Mitchell. Dustin Harrington. Spiros Coloris, Dean's List. Benjamin McComb. Congratulations. Lori Storms, Dean's List. Shane Vale. Shane is also graduating with an Ontario College Certificate in Motive Power Fundamentals. Congratulations, Shane. Jordan Villanova Gallagher, Dean's List. For Serve Engineering Technician, Tanya Barker. Congratulations. Charles Bentley, Dean's List. Charles is also the recipient of the Association of Ontario Land Surveyors Eastern Regional Group Leadership Award. Congratulations, Charles. Ryan Shea, Dean's List. Ryan is also the recipient of the Hastings and Prince Edward Area Land Surveyor Association of Ontario Land Surveyors and Eastern Regional Group Achievement Award. Congratulations, Ryan. For welding and fabrication technician, Jessica Emlin, Dean's List. <laughs> Jessica is also a member of the Garfield Weston Foundation Fellowship and has also graduated with an Ontario College Certificate in Welding Techniques. Congratulations, Jessica. Gurmeet Batty, Dean's List. <laughs> Who is also graduating with an Ontario College Certificate in Welding Techniques. Congratulations. Michael Brown, Dean's List. Congrats, Michael. Ryan Calver, Dean's List. Ryan is also a member of the Garfield Weston Foundation Fellowship. Congratulations. Jake Chung, Dean's List who is also graduating the Ontario College Certificate of Welding Techniques. Congratulations. Richard Davenport. Richard is also graduating the Ontario College Certificate of Welding Techniques. Congratulations, Richard. Woo! 
Sayama and Desenyak, Dean's List. Congratulations. Royden Johnston. Congratulations. Emma Kirkwood. Brendan LaRoche. Brendan is also graduated with an Ontario College Certificate in Welding Techniques. Congratulations. Akash Kumar Latia, Dean's List. Congratulations. Lindsay McCallies. Riley McConnell. Michael Nick, Steen's List. <laughs> Justin Smithers, Dean's List. Justin is also a Garfield Weston Foundation Fellow. Congratulations. Kyle Woodbeck, Dean's List. Kyle is also a Garfield Weston Foundation Fellow. Now for the Ontario College Advanced Diplomas. In Architectural Technology, Megan Cruikshank, Dean's List. <laughs> Megan is the recipient of the Northumberland Society of Architects Award. Congratulations. Cameron Dush, Dean's List. Cameron is also the recipient of the Architectural Faculty Award for Best Working Drawings and the Association of Architectural Technologists of Ontario Award, the Northumberland Society of Architects Award, Ontario Building Officials Association Award, Quinney Home Builders Association Award, and the St. Lawrence Valley and Northumberland Durham Society of Architects Award. Congratulations, Cameron. <laughs> Callum Graham. Callum's also graduating with an Ontario College Diploma in Architectural Technician. Jamin Kumar Navtadi. Jamin Kumar is also the recipient of the Architectural Faculty Award for Best Interior Design, Northumberland Society Architects Award, and also graduated with an Ontario College Diploma in Architectural Technician. Congratulations. <laughs> Riley Roy. Congratulations. for Civil Engineering Technology. Jonathan Boldrick, Dean's List. Adam Butts. Congratulations, Adam. Nathan Carmel, Dean's List. Congratulations. <laughs> Dominic Coteau, Dean's List. <laughs> Willie Daw, Dean's List. Congrats, Willie. Really. 
Jeffrey Desolinier, Dean's List. Jeffrey's also the recipient of the Christopher McCauley Memorial Award. Congratulations. Connor Dixon. Connor is also graduating with an Ontario College Diploma in Civil Engineering Technician. David Harrison. Dustin Kerr. Dustin is also graduating with an Ontario College Diploma in Civil Engineering Technician. Congratulations, Dustin. Justin Kripjewet, Dean's List. Jesse Lovett. Jared March, Dean's List. James McKelvey. Congratulations, James. Gavin Metcalf, Dean's List. Ian Norby. Yansuka Sullivan, Dean's List. <laughs> Julia Riley, Dean's List. Kai Savari. This concludes the conferring of certificates, diplomas, and advanced diplomas for skills and technology and building sciences programs. Congratulations. I would like to introduce June McDonald Jenkins, Dean of the School of Human Health and Justice Studies, who will present the graduates for the Justice Studies programs. Are you ready? Thank you, Academic Chair Monday, President Vaughan. It is my pleasure to present the recipients of Ontario College Diploma and Awards in Community and Justice Services, Custom Border Services, Paralegal, Police Foundations, Protection, Security, and Investigations. Ontario College Diploma for Community and Justice Services. In acknowledgement of the past academic year, each student graduating from the Community and Justice Service Worker Program is being awarded the Community and Justice Service PETA Award for their efforts in creating a collaborative and cooperative atmosphere while displaying perseverance, initiative, tenacity, and attitude throughout the academic year in the Community and Justice Service Program. Congratulations to you all. Rebecca Baker. <laughs> Raven Barberstock. <laughs> Alexander Cole Bolarice. <laughs> Corey Bowen, Dean's List. <laughs> Hannah.
Hannah DeVries, Dean's List. Tabitha Gibson, Dean's List. Aaron Gulliher, Dean's List. <laughs> Jillian Grice, Dean's List. Stacy Henderson, Dean's List. Mercedes Hill Miracle. Freddie Kehoe. William Kerr, Dean's List. Congratulations, Bill. Elizabeth Lever. <laughs> Roman Muskeluk, Dean's List. Angela Nicholson. <laughs> Catherine Peck, Dean's List. <laughs> Haley Perry. Andrew John Pruel, Dean's List. Ryan Ross. Katrina Rupert, Dean's List. Tara Scott, Dean's List. Tara is also the recipient of the Community and Justice Service Faculty Award for Superior Attitude, Academics, and Aptitude in the Community and Justice Service Worker Program. Congratulations. Sierra Simpson, Dean's List. Linda Sims, Dean's List. Congratulations. Joshua Smith. Jonathan Southward. Kelsey Wadden, Dean's List. Joshua Whalen. Erica Woodcock. Woo! 
Customs Border Services. Florence Alunza, Dean's List. <laughs> Kaylee Annable, Dean's List. <laughs> Connor Baird, Dean's List. Candace Baird Merlin. <laughs> Brandon Bone. <laughs> Michael Brandt, Dean's List. Claire Caldwell, Dean's List. Claire is also the recipient of the Customs and Border Service Faculty Award for Superior Attitude, Academics, and Aptitude. Congratulations, Claire. Shridevi Chandradas, Dean's List. Taylor Constable. Good job, Taylor. <laughs> Benson Cook. <laughs> Searing Dundup. Caitlin Dewin, Dean's List. Sierra Gemmel, Dean's List. Anthony Gerard, Dean's List. Victoria Harness, Dean's List. Christopher Horban, Dean's List. Jennifer Lee, Dean's List. Shannick Logan. <laughs> Kirsten Miracle. That's my baby. <laughs> <laughs> Kayla McMillan. Brandon Pallister. <laughs> Tashi Palsing. <laughs> Thomas Paul.
Riley Perkins, Dean's List. Adam Ramsden, Dean's List. Darubin Ravi, Dean's List. Rachel Roberts. Erica Rose, Dean's List. Dylan Shervel. Felix Don, Dean's List. Shane Williams. You're welcome. Caleb Young. Paralegal. Shannon Elliston, Dean's List. Shannon is also the recipient of the Prosecutors Association of Ontario Award for a graduating student in the paralegal program who exemplifies the ethics and ideals of justice by demonstrating excellence in advocacy. Congratulations, Shannon. Ivana Masik, Dean's List. Sierra McIsaac, Dean's List. Alexis Newman. Caitlin Pearson. Jason Rendell. Great job, Jason. You're welcome. Pamela Saunders. Great job, Pam. Michaela Tompkins. Logan Weaver, Dean's List. Logan is the recipient of the Paralegal Program Faculty Award for Superior Attitude, Academics, and Aptitude. Congratulations, Logan. Sylvia Wellborn, Dean's List. Police Foundations. Brooke Babcock, Dean's List. Brooke is also the recipient of the Police Foundations Physical Fitness Award. Congratulations, Brooke. Sonny Rar. Aaron Carrier, Dean's List.
Erin is also the recipient of the Faculty Union of Loyalist College Award for Academics and College and Community Involvement. Congratulations, Erin. Michaela Cavanaugh. Trist Tristan Esterbrooks, Dean's List. Stephen Gein. Blake Giroux. Good job, Blake. Kyle Kittle. Matthew Lorenko. Julianne McWhorter. Julianne is also the recipient of the Police Foundation's Physical Fitness Most Improved Award. Congratulations, Julianne. Joya Mogridge. Dean's List. Luke Orr. Luke is also the recipient of the Police Foundation's Physical Fitness Most Improved Award. Congratulations, Luke. Matthew Ross. Congratulations, Matthew. John Joseph Sexsmith. <laughs> Taylor Wapshaw, Dean's List. Cameron Young. Protection, Security, and Investigation. Madison Aubey, Dean's List. Mariah Beskers, Dean's List. Mariah is also the recipient of the Bob Thomas Corporate Security Award for overall academic proficiency, leadership, and citizenship. Congratulations, Mariah. Stacy Clemmer, Dean's List. <laughs> Timothy Coles. <laughs> Welcome. Good job. <laughs> Shelby Delgado, Dean's List. Shelby is the recipient of the Aaron Murray Protection Security Investigation Faculty Award for Superior Attitude, Academics, and Aptitude. Congratulations, Shelby. Jesse Elliott. Great job, Jesse. Jasmine Govier, Dean's List. <laughs> Samantha Hansen. <laughs> Jen Hansen. 
Brendan Kelly. Mackenzie Lasher, Dean's List. Jenna Love. Caitlin Mannion. Anthony Miracle, Dean's List. <laughs> Chella McCullough, Dean's List. <laughs> Taylor Meeks, Dean's List. Francis Nathaniel Tan, Dean's List. Job, <laughs> Jamie Terry, Dean's List. Megan Timmons. <laughs> Michaela Sue Wapshaw, Dean's List. <laughs> You're welcome. Olivia Watts, Dean's List. George Wilson and Little Person, Dean's List. <laughs> Good job. Billy Joe Woodcock. Billy Joe, we saved the best for last. Vice President Drennan, this concludes the conferring of diplomas for justice study programs. Please join me in congratulating 2018 graduates. Yay. President Vaughan will now introduce the valedictorian. It is now my privilege to introduce this afternoon's valedictorian, a graduate who represents the exemplary characteristics of a loyalist graduate through his personal and academic accomplishments, his contributions to the community and to student life. Today, Cameron is receiving his third diploma from, from Loyalist College, and it's safe to say that Cameron McLean is a fixture in this place, and he's always present to cheer others on and participate in college life. Starting first in welding programs and then transitioning into public, the public relations program, he's an obvious choice for this effective communicator. Cameron is the recipient of numerous awards during his time at Loyalist, including the 2018 PRISM Service Award, the 2018 PRISM Networking Award, and the 2017 and 2018, he's recipient of the Herbert and Ruth Young Leadership Award. He has served as a class leader for two years and has represented Loyalist College 
as a marshal at the Ontario Skills Championships. Cameron, along with two other students, Rebecca Sweet and Stephen Zamiti, led the introduction of the Magic Wheelchair Program at Loyalist, where this college is the first Canadian chapter. This program transforms children's wheelchairs into costumes and become the envy of every trick-or-treater. Cameron is truly a remarkable man. I would like to call upon Cameron McLean, graduate of our Public Relations and Event Management program this year, a 2017 graduate of our Welding and Fabrication Technician program, and a 2016 graduate of our Welding Technician Certificate program, and who graduated this year as well on the Dean's List with distinction. I'd like to call on Cameron for a valedictorian address and to lead, lead the alumni commitment. Ladies and gentlemen, Cameron McLean. Thank you, President Vaughn. Good afternoon, Chair Forder, Mr. Howcroft, graduates, esteemed faculty, staff, and honored guests. Congratulations, you've done it. You've each faced obstacles and challenges along your journey here, and you've overcome them all. Enjoy your success. You've done it with grace and dignity. There's a Chinese proverb, well, at least according to Google there is, that states the strongest steel is forged in the hottest flame. If it's true, and if I recall my first year metallurgy correctly, it is, then you are truly ready for whatever comes next. In reflecting upon my time here at Loyalist and what I would share with you today, one word kept coming up. And that word, I believe, is the very basis for any of the successes I have enjoyed here at Loyalist. That word is mentor. It's a word that many of the skilled trade students here today will recognize. And for those of the W. Garfield Weston Foundation Fellowship, they should well know that as it is a central component that that organization is built on. The Oxford English Dictionary defines mentor as both a noun and a verb. As a noun, it means an experienced and trusted advisor. As a verb, it means to advise or train. It has been my great pleasure and fortune to have had a number of amazing mentors in my life. They've come in many forms, some formal, some informal, some I sought out, others were happy accidents or coincidences. Regardless of how they came into my life, each left a memorable and concrete impact upon my life, and I carry a piece of them with me daily. When asked about his success, we've already heard this once today, uh, so we'll reiterate it. When asked about his success, Denzel Washington said, show me a successful individual and I'll show you someone who has real positive influence in their lives. I don't care what you do for a living, if you do it well, I'm sure there was someone cheering you on or showing you the way, a mentor. I'd like to share with you now a little bit about one of my mentors. That man was Gord Whiteman. Gord was the welding and machine shop technician, as well as a member of the manufacturing faculty. Sadly, Gord left us suddenly and far too early, earlier this year. From the seeds of a small conversation with a confused and unsure first year, would grow a relationship that spanned many forms. Instructor, supervisor, peer, advocate, friend, and mentor. He saw potential in me, although I was struggling to find it in myself. He encouraged me to become more involved in Loyalist life and to apply for the assistant technician position within the shops. It's a job he had held, self held one time. It was like a door I had never even noticed was suddenly opened wide open for me. Through this opportunity that Gord gave me, came many chances to learn what it truly means to be a mentor. During my time in that role, I had the privilege of working with many of you here today, and I'm truly proud to be able to celebrate with you. As I approached my graduation day last year, 
I really wasn't sure what came next. A feeling I'm quite sure is probably not unfamiliar to many of you today. And as it become habit, I headed down to the shops. I was going to go have a coffee with Gord and sound out a few ideas. During that conversation, he made a suggestion that seemed like the absolute last thing I wanted to do at the time. Come back for another year and consider the public relations program. Gord truly believed that my passion for the trades and my desire to encourage more people to enter them might be my path. Suddenly, I had a vision for where I'd like to go. I'm grateful and so, so fortunate that Gord took the time and the interest in me to help me come up with a plan of how to bring this to reality. The doors he opened for me and others here at this college have, have allowed me to give back in a number of ways. Their support, for example, was instrumental in allowing myself and fellow Loyalist student Stephen Zamitti and Rebecca Sweet to bring the Magic Wheelchair Program to Loyalist. To our great delight and pride, you as a whole embraced our vision and helped make a positive difference in our amazing young friend Brady and his family's lives. Once again, reminding us what a caring and amazing group of people make up the Loyalist College family. Gord didn't just leave an impact upon me, though. His commitment to mentorship touched countless students during his time here, as well as many faculty and staff. Over this past year, I've been privileged to hear firsthand stories of how Gord touched many of you. His example changed my life for the positive and left me a better person for it. He encouraged me to blaze my own path and to embrace and be open to new challenges. As a lasting tribute to Gord, the mentors that you've discovered in your lives and may soon discover in the future, and your time at Loyalist, I challenge you to embrace the concept of mentorship and make it part of your life. Seek out opportunities to grow as a person. Challenge yourself. Strive to do the best for the people in your life and those that follow behind, and be kind to those around you. And please make the conscious choice to be a positive force for good in this world. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. My sincerest best wishes and hopes for each and every one of you in the days to come. And now, as we prepare to leave this ceremony as graduates of Loyalist College, please join me in reciting the alumni commitment found in your programs and on the monitors. I invite all Loyalist alumni to stand and join in. Please stand. As a graduate of Loyalist College, wherever my college experience takes me, I will use my knowledge, skills, and experience to the best of my ability. The lasting connections I have made with Loyalist College, my classmates, faculty, and friends, will follow th me throughout my life's journey. I will be a loyal ambassador for Loyalist and share my Lancer pride as I give back to my community workplace, and those around me. In all my dealings, I will endeavor to be known as a person of honor and respect. This is my commitment. Thank you, Cameron. What a wonderful speech. I've had the opportunity of interacting with Cameron over the last number of years here at Loyalist, and I can tell you it means everything he says. We really appreciate the leadership and the mentorship that you've shown Loyalist and the students here at Loyalist. We thank you so much. President Vaughn and I would like to provide you with an acknowledgement of the honor that was bestowed upon you today. If you'd come forward, please.
Yes, he actually gets to keep it. We just don't make him carry it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank everyone involved in the preparations for this very special event. It takes a lot of special people to help us put this event on. I'd like to thank our string duo, Marion Stratton and Linda Minty. Our piper, Sean Clayton. He had to pipe extra long again today. Thank you, Sean. Dustin Brandt for the delivery of the traditional friendship song. Wasn't that wonderful? Thank you. And our soloist, Lori Taylor. You're invited to join us for a reception in the Parrot Center immediately following the reception. I now declare the 2018 convocation officially closed. I would ask that everyone please rise for the singing of the Royal Anthem and remain standing for the recessional. God save our gracious Queen, long live our noble Queen, God save the Queen. Send her victorious, happy and glorious, long to reign over us. God save the Queen.